Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. If you use the Brave web browser for desktop, there is now a new version update available, which is version 1.37, which started rolling out on the 30th of March 2022. And also there are one or two new features worth mentioning, which I think most users would find quite useful and handy. A lot of add-ons, bug fixes, and then also another key feature update uh, is that uh, the Brave web browser has been upgraded to the first three-digit Chromium platform, which the browser is based on, and that's version 100. Now, just to mention uh, some key highlights for you quickly in this video. The first is um, you can now customize background images for the new tab page in the browser. And to do this, we just click on customize in the new tab page. And now you can upload your own image or picture from your device to customize the new tab page background where previously Brave came with its own stock uh, backgrounds which would rotate at different intervals. Now you have the ability to an option to upload any image from your device which I personally think is a nice move forward for the background of the new tab page in the browser. And then another new feature is Brave now has a new sidebar which is very similar to that found in the Vivaldi web browser and to enable it the easiest is just to go to your menu in the top right and here you'll see an entry called show sidebar the default setting is set to never and to enable it we just go click always and it pops the new sidebar to the left hand side of the browser and it's still early days so it's very basic uh, in its functions and options at the moment but you have uh, your Brave Talk icon, your wallet, and your bookmarks bar, which uh, are come standard as the default icons. And I'm sure as time goes on and updates roll out, new uh, options and features will become available in the sidebar. And then you can also access your settings from the sidebar as well. So that's also a nice new addition to uh, version 1.37. And if we go back to the sidebar, you can also enable on mouse over so it disappears and then when you hover over that area with your mouse the sidebar will appear so that's the new sidebar very similar to that found in the Vivaldi web browser and then if you use the brave wallet uh, there's normally an icon which is en enabled by default I've disabled it but if we just go to our settings and wallet and we just enable show brave wallet icon on toolbar which is the default setting um, there's a new option now to uh, disable Brave Wallet, the icon appearing in the uh, the toolbar in the top right, which I think is a nice handy addition. Um, you just right click now and you can hide Brave Wallet icon on the toolbar. So that's a nice little feature to hide uh, the Brave Wallet. Now, um, like most um, previous updates to the Brave web browser for desktop, there are a lot of add-ons for the Brave wallet. Too many to mention in this video, but Brave seems to be focusing a lot on fixes and add-ons to the Brave wallet. And then, just to mention, there are some other little updates. And also, if we just go to our, our, our menu again in the top right, and this time we go to Settings, and we go to additional settings and system. There used to be a Microsoft Edge protocol um, that has now been removed. And I think the reason for that is now, and I did post a video on this previously, in Windows 11, uh, you can now set all your web browsers with one click as there is a new option available to set the default, uh, to set your default browser now in Windows 11 with one button called set default, and that's using one click. So obviously because of that now, Brave has removed the um, Microsoft Edge protocol from the system settings in this latest update to the browser. And then, as I did mention earlier, there are numerous bug fixes. I've counted approximately 20 bug fixes in total. So if you have experienced any um, issues or uh, stability uh, problems in the browser, um, just make sure your browser is up to date as it does address uh, 20 uh, uh, bug fixes and issues that have been addressed with this latest update. And then if you'd like to see if you have the latest version, as always, we just head back to the menu in the top right. This time we click on About Brave. And the latest version now is 1.37.109. That's the latest version to the browser. And then as mentioned, 
we are sitting now on the first three-digit Chromium version, um, Chrome 100, and that's 100.0.4896.60, which is exactly the same version now as the Google Chrome web browser for desktop. Now, while we are on Chromium 100, um, there are a couple of security fixes that rolled out, important security fixes that rolled out in version 100 of the Chromium platform. And there are 28 security fixes. Um, nine of those are rated high, which is your second highest ranked vulnerability after critical. So it's, once again, it's important to check your browsers up to date, even if you're not interested in any new features in the Brave web browser. And uh, out of those high security vulnerabilities, a lot of those are used after free and type confusion in the V8 JavaScript engine. So 28 security fixes to address 28 vulnerabilities and none of those are rated high. So that's an important Chromium security update to the Chromium platform. And if you'd like to see what's new, uh, you can just click on the version, which will take you to the Brave release notes. And I've mentioned the key highlights for you in this video, but there is a lot um, more to look at in depth if you're interested. Too much to mention in this video, but as mentioned, I have mentioned what I feel are the key highlights to this latest version, 1.37 of the Brave web browser for desktop. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.